everybody, my name is Luke Mar. this is Hot Mode, and today on Hot Mode, we are going to be discussing one of the biggest supermodels in the entire world, Naomi Campbell. So, Naomi was born in South London to a mother who was Jamaican-born and a quite big dancer. Like, she was traveling all around Europe doing all this different dancing stuff. At the age of three, Naomi was then put into a performing arts school where the young miss then started to do her thing. At the age of, like, ten, her career started popping off. She was working with guys like Jimi Hendrix and the Culture Club, being in, like, their music videos, doing all their dancing stuff and, like, tumbling around and stuff. And so, before her 16th birthday, Naomi was scouted in Covent Garden, which is a tiny little, like, shopping center in London, by, like, Synchro Models or something like that. And by the age of 16, her modeling career kind of, like, took off. Like, So, Naomi was one of the first black models to grace the cover of British Vogue since 1966. And mind you, this was, like, the late 80s. So, this has been like a long hiatus of black models on the cover of British Vogue. So, Naomi kind of opened that door for a lot of other young ladies, people like Jordan Dunn and other girls like that. And also, she did cover French Vogue, but there was a lot of controversy about that because French Vogue wouldn't give her the cover. And mind you, this was the, going to be the first time a black model ever graced the cover of French Vogue. And her friend, who was the amazing designer Yves Saint Laurent, said, guys, I'm gonna pull my advertising if you don't put this girl on the cover. Like, she's amazing. Like, she's spectacular. Um, so not only Yves Saint Laurent was one of her friends and mentors, but she also had friends in pretty high places. People like Gianni Versace, Azadine Alai, and Isaac Mizrahi. So she kind of, like, hit it with the French, the Italian, the French again, and the New York. She really was, like, hitting it out of the park there. She had really amazing friends that were having her walk in her shows. And so then she started to like hang out with these two young ladies. Maybe you know their names, Christy Charlington or Linda Evangelista. And they then formed the Trinity, which was the three of them walking in different shows. Dolce and Gabbana, idiots that they are, said, we want Linda Evangelista and we want Christy Charlington, but we don't want Naomi. And so Linda Evangelista and Chrissy Trangerum were like, um, no, that's not gonna, no, 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 we don't, mm, no, sorry, sorry about that one, not gonna happen, either Naomi's in it, or we ain't in it, all for one, one for all, they were like the three musketeers. And so then Naomi kind of started to like branch out after doing all these, she was like hitting every show, she was doing amazing. She then was like doing music videos with people like Michael Jackson, she started her own like you know, perfume. Naomi Campbell was on the cover of American Vogue for the September issue. And this had been the first time that had ever, ever happened in the history of American Vogue. So as you guys can tell, Naomi obviously has broken every boundary. She was the leader of the pack. She did it all. Like, she opened the doors for young black supermodels or young black models. So, I mean, gotta give mama props, because she knows what she's doing. In the Vivian Westwood show, Naomi actually fell. <laughs> on these, like, massive heels. They're, like, this big. And if you went to, I don't know what museum it is, but there was a museum in London that had all of, like, kind of the most famous shoes in history. And Naomi, the shoes that Naomi was wearing for the Vivian Westwood show was in the museum during the exhibition. So Naomi, Naomi falling was literally like history. Like it was history. Like she made history. She's in a museum because of it. Naomi also was like riddled with controversy about like her attitude. Her modeling agency, Elite Models, kind of did drop her because they were like, we really can't like do what she does. And it was because apparently Naomi was very, like, vicious towards different workers and interns and all those kind of people when she would come in. Now, another thing about Naomi is she's had some pretty, uh, pretty bad, uh, lawsuit problems. Maybe you've seen the video of her 
fighting with the flight attendants on the uh, on the plane and hitting people and being really new, like really not nice to her assistants and stuff. But she's kind of risen from the ashes of like the early 2000s. She started doing TV shows and she was like on the TV show called The Face, which was about finding like new young models. Naomi kind of was like one of the coaches that helped coach through the models. So yeah, this is like, this is the video. I'm just giving you kind of guys like little bits of summary that you can look up, you know, just search her on the YouTube, watch all the videos about her. There are some really great videos where she laughs at a model during that TV show, The Face. It is so funny. Um, so yeah, one of the biggest supermodels in the world who has broken so many boundaries and has literally, you know, started the trend of black models are beautiful, and that is Naomi Campbell. And, you know, everybody has their flaws, and Naomi certainly were put in the spotlight a lot, but you can't take away from the fact that she really was an amazing model and has really broken down a lot of barriers. So with that, I say adieu. And TTYL, I will see you guys, you know, soon. See you guys soon. See you soon. So, T-T-Y-L.